Hey there. Uh, today I'm going to be opening up a box from Vestiaire Collective. I have never shopped at Vestiaire Collective. I've heard tons of horror stories. I'm a, I'm a little bit afraid to open this box. If you're interested in seeing what happened, stick around. My channel is about treating yourself a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrance, your cup of coffee, skincare, bags, whatever makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve it. I think you deserve it. I like to treat myself to these things. So, you know, if you are about treating yourself to things like handbags, skincare, fragrance, etc. Consider subscribing, liking, comment on sharing all those things that YouTube likes us to promote and I would really appreciate it. So on today's video, I bought something off of Estier Collective and I'm going to be honest, I don't I don't really use this app. Like I had it and on occasion I would open it up and browse, but for the most part, I'd heard so many horror stories and just problems that people have had utilizing the site that I have was been have been leery. And I was that way with Poshmark and Macari and all of the the sites really for a long time. So it really I'm just really, really um, standoffish, I guess, about those kind of things or, or, or hesitant to use. And this one, um, the only reason I ended up pulling the trigger on the item was because a fellow YouTuber and friend, uh, Craig Birkenboy, um, mentioned this item was on there and he knew that I'd been wanting this item for ever. Do I need this item? No, of course not. <laughs> I wanted it. And it was pretty much the only place to get it. It's a discontinued item, um, no longer available. So they're very hard to find. And when they pop up, you pretty much have to take your chances and, and buy them wherever you can find them, be it eBay, Poshmark, Macari, what have you. Um, so this one was on Vista Collective. It wasn't um, the worst price, wasn't the best price in the world, but it wasn't the worst. Wasn't in the best condition, but wasn't in the worst. <laughs> so that being said, I felt confident enough to take my chances on it. So I went ahead and um, pulled the trigger on it. The, um, I guess, downfalls with buying, it's, it's a global platform. So you're buying from wherever. It did take a, a pretty long time to process. So I knew that it would go to a location to be, I guess, reviewed and authenticated and all that, which is great. But the time it took for it to get to to them to have that done seems like a really long time. It I don't I mean I don't know what the the general guidelines are for sellers to sell on the platform, how it works exactly, but it seemed excessively long. So it was almost like two whole weeks of just that process. And then when I got the the quick, you know, oh hey, we received the the package they had gotten me their review within 24 hours, I'd say, and then I accepted it, you know, within a couple of hours. And then it was on its way to me within the same day. So it was like that whole process of once it was authenticated or reviewed, what have you, that was very quick, but it, all of the rest of it seemed to take forever. And then the shipping seemed relatively quick as well. I think I got it within a week after that. So, I mean, I wasn't disappointed with like the vestiaire to me process. It was the the front end of it that seemed to take a really, really long time. So, so far that that's just like utilizing the platform. So I'm, you know, still a little bit mm, not so sure. Um, the packaging, you know, it's it was boxed fine. It's a little bit you know, beat up. I went ahead and ripped open the um, strip, whatever, to open the box um, and get it in there. And the first thing I saw was there's no, there's nothing in here to, I'll just kind of lift it up real quick. 
there's nothing in here that protects it. It's literally just the item thrown in there and Bob's your uncle, <laughs> so to speak. So, I mean, yay, the dust bag came with it. That's nice. Why wasn't it in the dust bag? I'm just curious because shipping it in a box <laughs> just there seemed odd, but okay. You know, it, okay, okay. So obviously they knew it had a, a dust bag and it needed to go in the dust bag to, I, anyway, I'm getting on a tangent. What's the sticky stuff on this? Some tape or something? I don't know what's going on here. So I've got to deal with that. Um, the, that, so that, that's a little bit discouraging, but it's not in its dust bag, but anywho, um, so the item is this item right here. Let me get this one out of the way. And you're going to say, Nancy, wait a minute. This looks really familiar. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks really familiar. <laughs> right? Well, that's because I, when I bought this, I thought it was this, <laughs> but it wasn't, it was this. And that's fine. Um, so I've been on the hunt for this lar large, the large and in charge burrow for a long time, a, a long, 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 long time. And every time I came across a, this color, it was always in the smaller size. And of course I made the mistake on that one when I purchased it, that I didn't either didn't have the dimensions or some, there was some mis miscommunication and I ended up with, you know, the smaller size and that's fine. It wasn't that expensive. I got a great deal on it and was missing the strap. So that was a little bit disappointing, but other than that, it, it's fine. The condition was okay. Um, but this one, same thing, the corners are quite uh, worn. So that needs a little bit of conditioning, but that one was as well. It had the exact same type of wear and I brought that one back up to nearly, perfect condition. So I'm not, I'm not concerned, um, in the grand scheme of things. So it was inspected by Aisha, which is great. And then they had this little tag right there. So, I mean, it seems, it seems fine. I'm just a little bit disappointed in the packaging that they did. I think they, they could have at least maybe stuffed some stuff. If they weren't going to stuff the bag, put something around the bag to protect it. That's just a little disappointing. Just, just saying. So anyhow, but the condition is what I was expecting. They, when they did the inspection, they, um, I mean, they were very thorough. They sent me a, a report that basically like, hey, hey, the listing says this, but it actually measures this. And it was actually bigger than what the listing said. And I think she just mismeasured it, or they, excuse me, uh, measured it one way and it's it measured bigger and that's fine. Um, so I appreciated that, that was very thorough. But, um, yeah, it just leaves a little something to be desired for the um, care on their end. Uh, Condition-wise of the bag itself, we've got the typical, um, you know, tarnishing or kind of almost rusting of the zipper pulls, which, you know, this is an at least 10 year old bag, maybe even older. Um, it, it, that's just the way it is. It's got its little hang tag inside here. The interior looks really clean from what I can tell in here. So that's good. Let me look in this one. Yeah. I mean, I think it was really well taken care of. So I think the zippers are a little stiff. So they need a little bit of um, beeswax or whatever on them. But in general, other than having to put some conditioner on the corners to bring them back to life, I think that it is in really good shape. So really it's about what I shot this year collective again, probably 
hopefully not. It just depends. It just depends. It would, it depends. So this one cost me, I believe it was 150. Might have been more. I'm trying to remember. I know it was less than 200. I'm pretty sure. It, yeah, it's pretty sure. I'll put it all up on the screen. It, for the item, what I wanted, the condition it was in, it was the price I was willing to pay. So there's that. A lot of the other things that I'm considering on that platform seem excessively priced. Like there's some Rickies on there that it's like, why do you think it's worth that much still? It's like when you're compared to other um, platforms, the, the pricing doesn't seem consistent. Not that the bags weren't very expensive to begin with. You know, I, I get people want to get their money back, but I, it doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason as to um, the mechanism of how things are priced. So it really is the seller's platform. The seller decides what they are going to um, price it. So it's not like the real real or fashion file where the platform decides it's, um, it's value. It is the seller's. So with that, um, I appreciate it being a arena to allow folks to do that but it's like we already have Macari we already have all these other ones I'm not quite sure what Vestier Collective does that is any different than those other platforms I, I think I had this misconceived notion that Vestier was more um curated or more like a, a fashion file or real real or rebag where the the items are sent to them they can sign and then if they don't sell either they're donated or given back to the the individuals i guess i i didn't quite understand the um the way the platform was set up but it, it really truly is almost like a hosting type of platform and it seems like we have so many of those already that it's like why and you'll do you do notice that some of the um at least in my opinion it seems like you'll see it posted on vestiaire and you'll see it also posted on all these other sites so that kind of bothers me a little bit when i see it all over the place because what if i bought it on ebay and they they also have it on macari and on vestiaire and it's like if five of us could all buy it at once it it just kind of gives me a little bit of a a squishy feeling to have so many places allow it to be cross posted in that in that format and so i i kind of just typically shop like the fashion files and the real reels where they're just kind of posting it in one spot and i know that you know sometimes you'll see rebag or real reel on like ebay but they typically link up really quick so like the minute you buy it off of their website it's off of ebay or and vice versa i don't know if that's really the case um on these other types of platforms so anyhow um as far as the bag goes like i said i think it's in pretty decent condition for the price it's the size i've been lusting after for years i'm beyond excited to have that um it's on now i'm looking at the hardware the hardware is almost the exact same condition um with its um damage so to speak so this one was missing the strap the smaller one's missing the strap i can just go ahead and use the strap from this one on this one my first instinct was oh i'll just go ahead and sell this one but i love this bag so much that i'm like but now i have two of the same color so <laughs> But anyway, just to, to real quick, so you can kind of see the, the size difference and where you've got a couple more inches here. I know it doesn't seem significant, but you know, this is the work bag. This is going to fit the laptop of any size. This is the one I needed. And this is more of a, you know, really great all around bag. Um, I could probably get a laptop standing up in this one, but I, I really wanted the big one. So, um, I don't know. I might end up passing this along at some point, but I typically don't sell my bag. So we'll see. There's going to be some point where I'm like, there's just, there's no point of having two of the exact same um, color, but they're also green and beautiful. And I like, you know, that tone of green. So it may, it may work out in the end after all. So we will see, but 
Will I shop Best Year Collective? Like I said again, probably not. It would have to be a really smoking killer deal that makes sense. Um, this was kind of an exception. May, if I eat my words, I will let you know because I am not shy to let you know that I was I was wrong. I made a mistake. <laughs> it's all it's all it's always all, all about me. It wasn't them. It was me. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really glad to at least have um, finally the size of the burrow that I had been wanting for so many years. Maybe I can stop shopping for them now. <laughs> Maybe I can stop. I can look away. I can now leave the rest of them out there for you to enjoy because they really are fantastic bags. Why coach can't, couldn't bring this back, couldn't keep this style. I don't know. And the quality of this bag, I don't know what, what's going on, but I mean, honestly, if you pick one of these up, you will know what I'm talking about. They are fantastic. So, um, and I'll link a couple of other creators who have them down below. Everyone raves about them. They were fabulous bags. And I mean, if you can get one, just, just have one and they're pretty reasonable still on the, on the market out there. So you would not be disappointed in having one of these in your, in your collection. So I really encourage you to pick one up if you can. That's all I got for you today. I hope to see you around somewhere on my videos. If you like it, again, like, comment, subscribe, all of that things that we have to say on YouTube. I say like I have a gun to my head. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope um, y'all see you around again soon. So take care. Mm -hmm.